Hey, what's going on guys? You probably don't know this unless you're one of my close friends or one of my sisters, but I fell off my bike. Alright, so I was coming around the corner and yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure what happened, honestly. I either took the corner too fast or I leaned too hard or I don't know. I'm not really sure, but it's, I mean, I guess it is important, so it doesn't happen again, but I'm definitely more careful around the corners, but I just wanted to show you guys what happened, and I'm pretty sure I was going less than, if I had to take a guess, I'd say be like 15 miles an hour or so, but yeah, this was like a 90 degree turn, I definitely should have slowed down more, but yeah, I didn't, and I learned my lesson, <laughs> so yeah, this is what happened, I got uh left fairing scratched up pretty good this was already here so this is me um one of my bar ends broke off uh i have a um spool down here got grinded up pretty good but you know that's unimportant uh bolt for my axle or the you know actual actual axle like threading got a little grinded down so um, definitely gonna be adding a lot of protection to the bike nothing really happened on this side uh, the left um, flush mount whatever like the flush mount casing or whatever came off so that's not good gotta keep this out of the rain for sure and then when I picked the bike up yeah, I don't know if like the adrenaline was coursing through my veins or what, but I picked it up way faster than I thought I was going to. So when that happened, it fell over this way on the right side and this bar end got like pushed in real good and my throttle was sticking, but I fixed that. My right foot peg broke off, so I had to order a replacement. This is a factory replacement doesn't turn as good as the original one but it also doesn't match the other side the other side's black but it matches the, the rear so it's whatever it does its job so now that you've seen the damage to the bike let's go over the damage wall or lack of damage that there was to me so I was wearing about I'd say 70 cent, I was wearing about 70% full gear when this happened. So the gear that I, that is not motorcycle specific, was cold out. So I was wearing these Target compression shorts and I was wearing these jeans from Rue 21. This is, you know, they're already distressed as fuck. This wasn't happened during the slide. So, honestly, these jeans hold up pretty good. Um, I'm actually just noticing this for the first time. This pocket is starting to come undone. And that is the side, like, where I made contact. So that probably happened during the accident. But, literally, it didn't go through at all. There is, um... I believe this did happen during the slide, this hole right here, because I have a similar hole on these compression pants right there in the, in the shin. And I have a small cut, or I'll put up a picture or it's not really a cut. I don't even know what to call it. But it was like the size of an eraser or something like that. It was missing a little bit of skin. It was a little scab, but nothing serious. So, yeah, definitely going to be getting... I mean, I have some riding jeans, but they're so ugly, man. And they kind of lose. They're like, I just don't like wearing them. So, I mean, but I do if I'm, you know, going on a, a long ride now. Or not even a long ride. But if I'm going out riding for, like, the sole purpose of just going for a ride... I definitely put them on now you know events like this make you think a little more but uh yeah so my gloves i pretty much got the whole sedici 
suite of, of things except for the pants. I forget what brand pants I have. But like I said, they're ugly. I don't like them. They're like, they're old man pants, bro. Like, I like skinnies. See, I got the joggers on. But yeah, Sadichi gloves. I think these were like 50 bucks. Uh, knuckles and the top side of my hand didn't touch at all. But the palm, I just noticed this like yesterday too. The palm definitely did. If I didn't have these gloves on, man, I'd be missing, you know, a good chunk of my fucking, my, my, my fucking palm, dude. And a uh, little right there, I don't know, that could be from just gripping the throttle, I'm not sure, but probably not, you know. But yeah, gloves definitely helped a ton. Save my hands. Left hand, I don't really use for anything. Besides, this is like, you know, before I got this motorcycle, my left hand was useless. Now it actually clutches and stuff. But, uh, yeah, onto my jacket. Once again, Sadichi jacket. And this was on the left side. Shoulder pad, didn't touch at all. But the elbow, look at that, man. Got scraped up pretty good. So, you know. I would have ended up like Jonah Hill, fucked up my elbow pretty bad. Helmet didn't touch at all, but yeah, you know, stuff like this just makes you want to upgrade your gear, get more gear. So that's what I'll be doing for the next, you know, forever pretty much. I'll just be accumulating all types of gear because honestly, this, this is still good. Definitely, I'm not going to, you know, replace this jacket over that but this glove you know i don't think it can handle too many more slides like that probably maybe one seriously like that ate a pretty good amount of that padding or whatever whatever that hard plastic you know it's definitely i'd say it's it's half the size that it was before so these gloves only have one more one more slide in them. What's going on, bro? Neighbor out here. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you got any suggestions on some cool riding pants, something that looks good, and, um, you know, something that, like, I can wear after I get off the bike to, like, just walk around in and not look like a complete dumbass. So, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. When I do, I'm having a giveaway. So you definitely want to be locked in for that. Thanks for everything. It's been real. Y'all been realer. Peace.